Hello scientists, welcome to Zhuo Matt, the scientific illustration channel for scientists. This video we will be drawing the lipid bilayer in Adobe Illustrator and before we get into it, please give a thumbs up and also subscribe so you can join this creative scientist community. So uh, without further ado, let's start our tutorial. First, let's grab the ellipse tool to draw a circle. We can click and drag while holding shift. Then we will fill it in with a radial gradient and uh, now you see it's black and white gradient and we can change the color by dragging a color swatch into the color box on our gradient slider. This color is a little bit too saturated. I will go to the color guide and uh, select this lighter blue. Uh, this one is better. And so uh, our phosphate head uh, can uh, look a little bit more uh, elegant. I will make the outline thinner, uh, so I'll use 0.25 points and then also uh, switch the stroke color to this gray in the swatches so it can blend it in with the overall structure better. And um, then we will start to create the lipid chains. So let's grab a, a line tool to draw a vertical line and then uh, we will um, fill in with uh, blue and I will make it thicker. Let's try two points for now. And I will also go to the appearance tab to uh, give it a round cap. So uh, it will look more organic. Let's switch to the direct selection tool by pressing A as a shortcut. And then uh, I will uh, select the anchor points and then uh, click on this uh, button called the make anchor point smooth. You'll see that two handles are popping up on the anchor points and then you can manipulate the handles uh, to create this S shape for your lipid chain. Once it's done, I will put it to the back of the phosphate head and then uh, I'll make a copy of it. And I will uh, group these two, uh, and they're still a little bit too thick, uh, so I'll switch it to one point for the lipid chain, and uh, that seems like it's ready. Okay, I'll make it a little bit shorter. All right, and uh, I will group everything, and uh, now you can start to make copies of the uh, of the lipid unit, and then you create a, one layer of the lipid, and if you uh, duplicate it and then turn it to 180 degree and then you will have a lipid bilayer. So this is a simple horizontal lipid bilayer and uh, what if you want to create a, a circular lipid bilayer? Then you need to make them into pattern brushes. Uh, let's uh, start to work on it. I will first make a copy of the unit and then you can go to the control panel here at the brushes and uh, you can uh, add new brush and then you will have a option to select that's called pattern brush uh, once you click OK you'll see that there's an arrow image popping up it says uh, it contains element that cannot be used in pattern brush uh, so how do we fix this uh, we have to expand uh, the gradient in the phosphate head um, so a gradient is not able to turn into a pattern brush, uh, so we have to expand it. So, uh, first I will ungroup it and then I'll select the uh, phosphate head and then I'll go to object, expand exp appearance and then I go back to object again, expand. Uh, we're expanding the fill and I will specify it as 12 steps and then uh, you will see that uh, they are uh, some uh, circular color within the phosphate head and when you zoom out then they will look like a gradient. Uh, so um, now if you uh, switch, uh, if you make a copy of it and then turn it for 180 degrees and uh, I will uh, align them like this vertically and uh, then I will group them. Now when we go to uh, create a new brush and select a pattern brush and and click OK, then you will see that now you're able to create pattern brush. And the corner looks very awkward. So let's uh, come here to switch them to auto between. Uh, so they will look uh, more natural in the corner transition. Usually we will not encounter that while we are using our lipid by layer. 
If you use the pen tool to draw a curved line, you can also apply the lipid bilayer onto the path. And uh, here, uh, because uh, it is a little bit too thick, so some of the uh, some of the units are squeezed. So that's just uh, decrease the thickness of the stroke. Then you see now uh, it looks very good as a, a fluid uh, lipid bilayer. And uh, that also apply to circle, uh, so let's draw a circle and apply the uh, lipid bilayer on it. Then uh, also decrease the uh, stroke thickness. And now you see you have a vesicle uh, with a lipid bilayer. So uh, this is how you create a lipid bilayer membrane in Adobe Illustrator. I have another series of uh, drawing membrane protein. And uh, I, so now you have the membrane to apply those membrane proteins on. Uh, so also do check out those membrane protein videos. And I hope these uh, contents can help you with your research publication. Uh, please give a thumbs up and also subscribe. Uh, so uh, you get to see more of these videos. And I look forward to seeing you in the future videos.